Exercise 311, GIS Data Join to Tabular Data. In this exercise, we're going to take a spatial layer of parcels and combine it with tabular data so that we enrich the attributes of the parcel layer with the other table. So to do that, we're going to do something called a join. So a join is based on two common fields between the two data sets. So to get started, let's look at the parcels to see what field we want to start with. Open the attribute table for Parcels Homedale. Here we've got a parcel number field. Looks like there's a parcel number in there, about 15 characters long. Now let's go and find the parcelmaster.dbf file from the Chapter 3 data and add that to our map. Here we have exercise 311 underscore parcelmaster.dbf. Go ahead and press add. Now it should be added to your table of contents. Let's open up the table. In Parcel Master, we see there's a print key field, which looks just like the same thing over in Parcels Homedale. Now let's create a join using those two fields. To start, right click on Parcels Homedale, select Join Relates, and then press Join. Here we'll want to make sure it says Join Attributes from a Table as the top drop down. And then the next, we want to choose what field in Parcels Homedale the join will be based on. Select Parcel Num. Now, from Parcel Master, we'll just leave that as step two here because that's the data set that's coming in from the other part of the join. And then from Parcel Mastered, we want to pick Print Key from the drop down here. Keep join options as keep all records. Next, let's press the Validate button. This will check to see if this join will work. Otherwise, we can press OK, but it may not work if we don't check it first. Looks like it's a perfect match. So this will work when we finish the join. So press close and then OK. Now close the attribute table and then open it up again for parcels Homedale. Here you'll see the parcel num field like before, but if we keep scrolling to the right, you'll start seeing all the other attributes coming from the parcel master data set. But notice we're just looking at parcels Homedale. That's because we have a join. Joins are saved in the map document and are not a permanent combination of the data. So once you close ArcMap, those, those data sets are no longer closed. But if you open up the map document with that join saved in it, the join will still be there. When you have a join and you want to permanently combine that data, you can also do a data export like we did in the first exercise of Chapter 1. In this exercise, we're not going to save the data, but I do want to show you how to remove the join. So to remove a join, you right-click on the data set with the join on it, Go to Joins and Relates, and then hover over Remove. It'll show you what data sets are connected to this data through a join. You can say Remove All, or you can just pick this single data set to remove the join. I'm going to click on Parcel Master. If you want to check the attribute table to see if the join's still there, go ahead and open it up for Parcels Homedale. And now you see, just like before, it's just parcel number and no additional fields.